creative friends welcome to my channel and welcome to my series on sourdough now I'm going to try to do a series on creating a whole bunch of different things with sourdough discard which I'm super excited about I want to make one of those beautiful sourdough loaves I want to do that I've actually never done that I've done a bunch of other kind of things but this series was I want it to make me make more with sourdough so I did a review on these amazing need ace products and I want you, I will link the video, the, the review in my description so you can go check it out. And if you saw it and you purchased this, then you can just come along with me right now. If not, you still have time. But I want to show you what we're going to do is I'm going to use the San Francisco style artisanal sourdough starter culture that Nide sent me. I'm very excited about this. Um, if you don't have this, you can use any kind of sourdough star starter that you have. I mean, there's people that have been doing sourdough forever, and they're probably better at it than me, but this is going to make me good at it. I just know it. So, knee days. I'm excited about this because this, all you have to do is add the water and a little bit of flour to it. So, I'm going to go and open it. We'll read the directions and see what comes in here. Okay, get those nice flakes sourdough flakes Ooh, so good and then they have the sourdough starter act reactivation instructions there's a link to their store and here it's like a three-day thing so I think this is going to be great the first day they're also if you uh I will also link in the description their YouTube channel because they also have lots of recipes and you can go back and, and look at this again if you need to but so this is very simple. On the first day, I need to take the contents of the sourdough packet and put them into my jar and add two ounces of lukewarm filtered water to the jar. Now I buy regular drinking water, purified drinking water, because we're on a well and I'm not sure uh, what minerals are in there. So I wanna make sure that I've got good water to start this with. And then it says we're gonna stir until the, starter, the sourdough starter chips are covered with water. Then we're going to place the lid loosely on the jar or use this awesome cloth cover that they sent. It comes with the jar. And then um, we're going to let it sit for, during th for about three hours. And during that three hours, I need to come and stir it about four times. Then we'll do step two. And this is just for day one. Step two is where we're going to add a little bit of one ounce of unbleached all-purpose flour to the jar so let me get my water and get everything set up and then I'll be right back okay I've got my little two ounces of water now I'm just gonna pour the starter in this jar and I'm gonna cover it with the water and now I'm just gonna make sure everybody has got water everyone's wet in there everybody's swimming in the kiddie pool okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this over. I have a little area in my corner over there, and I don't see that black thing. That is actually what they call a kombucha belt, and it's like a strip heater. I think I have one in my Amazon uh, store. But what I've done is I've just made it not so that it's snug, but just so that it's a circle that I can set this down in there and set the uh, time or the temperature on low just so that I know that this is gonna be warm enough. And I'll be able to watch with this convenient little temperature gauge to make sure that we're all good. Okay, so now um, I stirred until the sourdough chips are covered with water. Now I'm going to place this loosely on the jar and let it sit for approximately three hours, stirring four times. So I think what I'll do is I'll set a little timer for, um, oops, I'll set a timer for like 45 minutes and I'll come back. I can't do this from this angle. Um, I'll come back and I will um, stir it and I'll bring you back when I do it. All right, I wanted to show you what I was talking about. So I've got my knee days jar um, and here is a thing. It's a, it's like a little heat, like a seed mat almost, if you know what that is, or a heating, just like a heating pad. And it has three uh, gauges. It's got low, medium and high. So I have that sit there. I'm put it on medium just so that it generates some heat. And now I'm just gonna set this down inside of it so it's not like on it, but it's close enough that it's gonna generate the right amount of warmth. And I'll just watch this and make sure that we're in a good range, probably around 70, 75. So I'll make sure that it gets up there. 
So I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with that. All right, I'm back and you see how that little thing is keeping my temperature just right. And now kind of clumps up in there a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I'm just gonna mix it around and I will do this two more times over the next, you know, like hour and 45 minutes or two hours. I guess I need to look at my timer, but I think it's been 45 minutes. So I'm just making sure all of the pieces are um, soaked and they're just absorbing the liquid. So it's going to activate them. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so I've got that mixed around really well. And now I'll put it back and I'll do this two more times before I have to do the next step. So this is just what I'm going to do. So three hours have gone by and I have stirred this like I'm supposed to. And now let me take the bottom off. You can see if you can see in there. And I'll tell you when you're stirring it, you want to make sure that you go around the bottom because really well scrape that stuff up. Cause I'll tell you what the uh, sourdough starter, it gets like concrete. Like that stuff is super, super tough to get off. If, if it gets like clumped on there, it's hard. Well, that's what they used to use for wallpaper paste was just flour and water. Because when it dries, it dries. And when I stir it, I mean, you can't really see in there very well. But when I stir it, there's little bubbles that release. Like more bubbles than you would think from stirring it. Let me see if I can bring you over and show you. If you can see, I don't want to block the light. If you see down in there, you can see there's bubbles around the side. That's a lot more bubbles than you would think there would be just from stirring it. So I feel like it's going to be a happy, happy little sourdough starter. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, according to the instructions, and this will be the last thing I have to do today, is I'm going to add in one ounce of flour. So it says, uh, first feed. Once the mixture is smooth, add one ounce of unbleached all-purpose flour to your jar. Mix gently until all combined. Cover the jar loosely and place somewhere warm if you can. Uh, there's no time for this step, but at least 24 hours. So I'm going to do that, and we are going to a friend's house for a barbecue. So now I'm going to have this all set up, and we'll get back to it tomorrow. Let me get all that in there. So now I'm going to mix it up, and then tomorrow is when we do the second feed and it's gonna start bubbling a lot more. Okay, and the temperature is just right. It's staying right between the 72 and the 75 there, um, over there where I've got my little my little belt that keeps it warm, the little kombucha belt. Okay, so now that's all we do. I'm going to let that stir, I've got it all stirred up, and now I'm gonna set this aside and we'll bring you back tomorrow when it's time for the second feed. It is day two, and we are going to follow the instructions here for the day two section. And I do want to point out, when uh, I like the fact that when they talk about putting the, the flour and water in in grams, not everybody has a, a kitchen scale, and sometimes that's just confusing, or in ounces is the way they do it. But it's kind of cool because back here on the back, it says if you don't have a scale, you they actually have worked it out for you so that you have a pretty equivalent measurement. So today... It says on day two, the second feed, once you see some bubbles forming on the surface of your mixture, which I need to show you something on that, it's time to feed your starter again. Add three ounces of unbleached all-purpose flour, which, according to the back, which is what I'm going to go by, three ounces of flour is three-quarter cup. Got that right here. And three ounces of filtered water, which would normally be 90 grams, but uh, three ounces of water is one quarter cup plus two tablespoons. And I have that here, and it's a little bit warm, so that's kind of nice. So then it says, mix gently and cover loosely again and let it sit for at least eight to 10 hours. And then we should see some bubbles forming on the surface after about eight or 10 hours. And then later today, then we'll do the third feed and that's where we empty six ounces and then we repeat step three, which would be we replace the six ounces we got rid of with six new ounces of three ounces of flour and three ounces of water. So I'm excited because I want to show you guys, this is what I think 
um, I was worried about, but I'm just gonna go with it, is that you can see bubbles, but the top is dried out. So I was kind of worried about that, but I looked up that it says that these kind of things are fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the water first and kind of loosen that dry top up. Just has like a crust across the top. And um, I looked and they said, that's okay. Boy, and as soon as I break the crust, bubbles, look. See if you can see. As Soon as I broke the crust off, it just released all kinds of bubbles. So that's okay. And I'm keeping it in the band and this is staying right at the 75. So I know the temperature is good. I feel like this is a huge science experiment, <laughs> but it's not. I've done sourdough before, but it's just because I'm so excited about doing my whole new series. I want my sourdough to be perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to take a couple of minutes and really work that water down through all of those dried parts, kind of to get them dissolved again. It's kind of like the crust just reminds me of the actual, like, sourdough little um, crumbles. So let me get them off the side. No, I'm telling you, sourdough is like paste. Once it's on, it is on. I want to get that off of there. So... I'm going to work this jar, get all the little bits off, and then I put my little band on. Today is Tuesday, so I'll put it at Tuesday, and I'll put the time, and then that way I can kind of look at it and see when it was last done, and it'll help keep me on track. Some people don't need that. They could turn that around and just make a cool, a cool little red belt to see how much it rises. But I actually need to be reminded of the time. I guess I could set a, an alarm on my watch to come in. That wouldn't actually be a bad idea, to set a repeating alarm on your watch to come in and tend your sourdough. Okay, now it's loosening up. These bits that are dried on the side are coming off. I'm kind of excited about this. And I really like the shape of this uh, container. Let me get that one big piece off there. Okay, I just feel like this is good to help dissolve all those pieces. They can only help in my mind. Okay, now I feel like that's all, all the bits are kind of worked through there. And now I'm going to add the flour. I'm surprised when I first start stirring it how many bubbles are released. That's kind of cool. So... Here we go. Now, I'm going to add in the flour. I'm going to stir that up. There we go. And it should be, according to the instructions, like a thick pancake batter. And then mine seems a little thick. But the cool thing is I can email them and I can ask them, all the questions I need to ask which is a beautiful thing okay so now I've got this mixed up pretty good I'm gonna scrape it off the sides I'm just that way I don't like things on the sides of the jar because I like to see in it and now I'm going to scoop this off there we go and I will come back in eight to 10 hours and I will do the next feed. So there you have it. Let's see how it turns out. Now I'm gonna put the little top on and I'm gonna set this over there in my little corner and we'll watch it. It'll be exciting. So I'll bring you back in eight to 10 hours when we do the second feed. I wanted you to know, I just came back and looked because I was doing a little research on why my uh, sourdough was so thick and um, it just is just a little bit too dry. So it says that the uh, consistency needs to be the thickness of very thick pancake batter. So if it's too dry, you can add a little extra water. So I got my little purified water here and uh, added that. Or if it's too runny, you can add a little flour just so that you get the consistency like a nice thick uh, pancake batter. So that's what I've done here, and you can see little bubbles on there. 
It's already getting little bubbles in there. See right around the top, you can see that. So that's fine, but I couldn't understand why it was so dry. So I don't want it to be that way. So that's what I did. I just added a little bit of water and it will be perfect now. So that you do have, I always feel like, you know, you have to be so careful with sourdough starter and stuff. And I have, I know people are just like, nope, just feed it, it'll be fine. But I don't know why. I think it's gonna be great. So now I'm gonna put the band on here. Let's see what happens. And I am excited now because I was worried about why it was so dry. So let me, let me put the band on here. And I, it's now, what is it, 10 o'clock on Tuesday. So today is Tuesday. I'm going to turn this around to Tuesday. And it has 6 and 12, so I'm going to put it right around there at like 10. And then I'm going to bring it down to here. So now I have got that right at the top of the sourdough, and I'll be able to see if it rises. But I'm going to bring you guys over and see there's bubbles in there. You see the bubbles? See how the bubbles are bubbling away. So I'm just excited now because I fixed it. I was worried about it. All right, so that's what you can do. Just wanted to show you that that's what I had to do. So we are now, we're still on day two. We're on step four, which is the third feeding. But this one you actually have to do some discard. And this is not the discard because it hasn't fully matured yet, I guess you'd say. So this would not be what you would use to cook with yet. Um, so you're going to discard six ounces or 180 grams of the starter and then repeat step three. So the six, uh, back here on your, um, your conversion, six ounces of the sourdough starter is one cup plus two tablespoons. So we're going to get rid of one cup. It's all bubbly. It's all bubbly and great in there. Let me mix it up a little bit. Um, one cup and two tablespoons is what we're going to get rid of. It's just all super foamy and awesome. I'm loving it. Let me get rid of that part. And then we'll get rid of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put back three ounces of flour and water. Looky look. Look at all the bubbles. You see? It's so perfect. Ooh. Okay. And we'll get the two tables. This is one tablespoon measure. So we're going to get rid of two tablespoons of that. Do not put this down your sink. In fact, that reminds me. I should get a little, a little dish to set this on. Because you don't want it to go down your sink. Because like I said, this stuff is like it will set up. But you see all the bubbles on there? It's all bubbly. It's, it's starting to wake up. Okay, so now we've got that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the three ounces of water and flour back in to make up for the discard we just took out. And let me get this off the side of the jar. I don't like it on the side of the jar. I like my jars clean. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put this in there and we're going to mix it around. And we have, there we go. Okay, so we need to add back. So now we've discarded six ounces and we'll repeat step three. And step three is to add three ounces of flour and three ounces of filtered water. And then we'll let this go till tomorrow. But three ounces of flour is three quarters of a cup. And three ounces of water is a quarter of a cup with two tablespoons. So I've already got that measured for you right here. Okay, so we're going to put this flour in there, and then we're going to put the water in there. Perfect. And now we're going to stir, stir. Boy, all the bubbles. I'm loving it. Okay, so we want it to be like thick pancake batter. And I might start adding a little bit of whole wheat as well because I like it. I have so much of it and I like it. So this is going to sit another 8 to 10 hours. And then we're on the third day three. So this is after the next 8 to 10 hours. 
It should already grow in volume, which I'm super excited about. Let me get all this off of here. So let me get this all mixed up. Now, the thing is, after the third day, which or after the day three, which is next, um, you can start regular feeding regimen or you're now the proud parent of a fully active probiotic rich sourdough starter is what it says in my little book. But you can continue to feed it if you want. So we'll just see what we're gonna do after, after we see how this turns out. Okay, so there we go. Looks like a real thick pancake batter. And I think it's happy. All right, I just wanna get the sides cleaned so that I can watch it. And now, there we go, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Get all this off. It just started raining outside. All right. Okay, we got that cleaned off pretty well. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to wash that, and now I'm going to set my little band because I'm going to set it for today, which is still Tuesday, but it is Tuesday, and it is 6 p.m. right now, so I'm going to set it right there Tuesday at 6 p.m., and I'm going to bring it down to the level of the starter, and we're going to watch it grow. All right, so then I will come back to you after this is set another eight to ten hours, and we're going to do the final step, which is step three, and uh, day three, and I'm going to be so excited, step five on day three. So there you have it. I will see you the next time I uh, feed my starter. We've made it to day three, and you can see it was taller than that. It was all the way up to about right there. You can see the line. It got all the way up to there, and you can see all the bubbly bubbles inside. Check it out. Okay, so now we're at day three, and it says, basically, after the another eight to ten hour sit, which we're, that's where we're at, um, it should already grow in volume. It did. Um, you're now the proud parent of a fully active, probiotic-rich sourdough starter, and it's time to start regular feeding regimen. Now, I use the starter from Need Ace, but you can look at any, um, any uh, sourdough starter and you know follow those directions if you want to so that we can make some sourdough goodies together okay so then it says um this is the regular feeding regimen we're going to remove six ounces of the active starter and that is six ounces is the equivalent of one cup and two tablespoons and i have that here <clears throat> excuse me so we're gonna i have my cup and my tablespoons here so we'll be able to do that and then it says we're going to replace that with three ounces or 90 grams of lukewarm water and that is one quarter cup and two tablespoons and uh three ounces of unbleached all-purpose flour and that is three quarter cup i'm sorry the water is one quarter cup and two tablespoons one quarter cup and two tablespoons of the um purified water which is what i use and then a uh, three quarter cup of flour so Let's remove the starter and let me get a little plate to set that on because you don't ever want to put this down your, your drain. Never, never, never. All right, let me get my little, I'm going to pour this out here. Ooh, look at all the foamy goodness. Okay. I'm going to get this. I'm just going to pour this over here. I'm just going to pour it on the plate. Okay. Two tablespoons. There we go. All right. So we've got that cleaned up. Look at all that bubbly bubbleness. I love it. I'm super excited about this. It's going to be so much fun. Okay. I'm going to clean that off of there. I had to check my mic. I noticed, thought my microphone wasn't on. I don't want to go any further. Okay, let me clean the sides of the jar off. 
And then it's nice because it comes with this red silicone uh, top, which is also can be used as a base. But um, when you get to the point that maybe you're not feeding it every day, you can put that on and just keep it in the fridge and then bring it out and reactivate it, which is kind of awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna add my flour. Kind of mix that up a little bit. And then we'll add the water and then I'm gonna let it sit. And I'll show you what it looks like. And then we're just going to do this every day. And then next week, I will have a recipe that we'll do. My friend's favorite recipe to use for her sourdough is the pizza, pizza crust. So that sounds like fun. Maybe I'll do some of that. There we go. Now you want your consistency to be like a thick pancake batter. And you can add a little flour or water to get it to the right consistency. And I use the filtered water. I buy the, the drinking, filtered drinking water because, um, well, I, I know people will use it when they live in the city because they put chlorine and stuff in the water, fluoride or whatever, all that stuff that they do. And we're on a well, and our well goes through a filter. But I don't know what else is in there, so I just prefer to stay on the safe side and get a bottle of water that lasts forever when you're doing sourdough. So anyway, so that's cool. All right, I want to get all that stuff that might be sticking. Okay, woo, the bubbles. I think we're onto something here, folks. Okay, clean the sides of the jar up so I can see it. And I really love how Neat Ace jar has this neat little um, little temperature gauge on the side. Kind of like what you put on the side of an aquarium. It's genius. That way I'm having it over in the corner with my little, um, my little heater belt. Okay, there's that. All right, I think we're good to go. Let me wipe my finger off now. And... There we have it. So that is for day three, and now I'm gonna put the belt on it right around here. And today's Wednesday, because this is sourdough day. And I'm gonna turn this belt around to Wednesday, and it's like six o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna put 6 a.m. And I'm gonna put right to the level of where the sourdough is. So see there we have it, 6 a.m. on Wednesday right to the level of the sourdough. And I'm gonna set it over in the corner and let it do its thing. It has been about two hours and I need to show you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. It has gone from the top of this belt all the way up to there in just a couple of hours. I am so thrilled, I have to tell you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this and then tomorrow I'm gonna do the feed where Every day, I'm gonna take out six ounces and then put three ounces of water, three ounces of flour, which the six ounces is, let me make sure, gotta give you the right amount. If you're not doing it by actual ounces, I'm gonna remove one cup and two tablespoons of the starter, and I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup and two tablespoons of water, and I'm gonna add three quarters cup of flour. That way, you're always replacing what you take out. So. There you go. We've done day one, two, and three using the sourdough starter from Need Ace. And I have to show you, that stuff is amazing. This is so exciting for me. So, I'm going to keep this up. This today kicks off my sourdough star starter, my sourdough series, and we've done the starter now. So, now that we've got the starter going, I'm going to keep this going for the week, which means every day I'm going to just do the little feed and then next Wednesday, I will make a recipe. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might do the sourdough pizza crust because my friend Peggy, I think that was Peggy that told me that's one of her favorites. So I'm going to get the recipes and we're going to do it. And this is going to be so cool because I am excited. And I love the Need Ace products to do my sourdough with. It, it just is amazing. So... There you have it, sourdough starter started. I've got my three days going. It's doing perfect. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.